Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we are going to be going over three things that we go over every single day here on the channel, and that is where you guys can find Madame Nazar's location. The second thing that we're actually going to go over is all the different collection sets and their current cycles. And then last but not least, we're going to go over all of the daily challenges in extensive details so that you guys can go ahead and make as much gold as possible here in Red Dead Online. But without further ado, let's go to get started by showing you right where you can find Madame Nazar for today. And Madame Nazar's location is actually up in Window Rock. So this is where you guys need to go in order to find Madame Nazar. Now your fast travel destination of choice will actually be at Valentine. Or some people actually like to go to the Indian Reservation. Either way is just fine, but I prefer Valentine. But that's just my preference. But if this is the only thing that you guys came here for today, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. A like definitely goes a long way here on the channel. It shows your support of these types of videos. It tells me that you want me to continue making these types of videos. And honestly, it just really helps me grow here on YouTube. So spend that two seconds and like and subscribe down below. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing, and that's going to be talking about the different collection sets and their current cycles. Now, I'm not going to get into all the fine details, but the collector rule has changed slightly, so anything that uh, uses the field shovel... Oh, there's a random event over there. Uh, anything that's a field shovel or requires the field shovel will be a random location. And... Uh, so you might get uh, only 13 of the 15 coins today, or you might get all 15, or you might only get 10. It's just completely random on which ones you guys use. But anything that involves using the field shovel will be a random dig site uh, for this, for these specific cycles. So I'm kind of curious to see what that actually is. Um, so this is going to include things like the Lost Jewelry, which will be a part of cycle number two. The Arrowheads, which is going to be a part of cycle number four. Family heirlooms, which is going to be a part of cycle number three. Coins are a part of cycle number five. Fossils, which are exclusive to the PS4, are going to be a part of cycle number one. All of those require the field shovel and or the metal detector in order to collect those. Now, the next four sets that I'm about to go over, you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them. But you do need to be a collector in order to sell them. So I definitely recommend that you guys get that collector bag as soon as you possibly can. Because you will make a pretty good amount of money, uh, even with uh, even without using the field shovel or, or the metal detector. So we got American Wildflowers, which you guys can collect three sets every single day. That's going to be a part of cycle number two. And then we've got uh, tarot cards at cycle number three. Antique alcohol bottles at cycle number three. And then bird eggs at cycle number one. It looks like, uh, it looks like it's a cougar event or something. That's what that looks like way over there. At least, at least that's what it looks like. Are they trying to come after me? Oh, they are coming after me. Wow, they, they're really coming that far away, huh? Watch them actually be able to get up here. He's trying to figure out how to... Uh, how do I get up there? How do I get to you? I don't know how to do it. Maybe we should save them. Eh, I guess we could probably leave them. Anyway, let's go over the details. Uh, let's go over and look at the list first, and then we're going to go over the, the details of the uh they did just despawn and spawn back over there that's actually kind of funny uh let's go over the list real quick of the daily challenges and we've got daily general we got can food eaten five of those we got one channel catfish caught three cooked seasoned flaky fish one finish a mode in featured series two iguana skinned one player headshot with a bow we got three weapons clean with the gun oil Bounty Hunter roll, we got three bounty hunting or bounty targets taken out with bolas, three eagle eye used to track a bounty target, one hard or legendary bounty mission completed. We got 20 donations to Crips for the trader roll. We got two goods sold to a distant buyer, two resupply missions completed, three American wildflowers found, one antique alcohol drank or drunk, three collectibles looted from non player enemies. The moonshine roll, we got $200 of money made from moonshine sold. One Moonshine Bar changed decor. One Moonshine sold with at least 18 bottles intact. The Naturalist Roll, don't kill any animals for 24 hours. I guess that probably means those cougars over there as well. Three forest or river animal samples taken. Three mountain or grassland animal samples taken. All right, so let's go to break these down um, in details for you guys. And that event is now over. I don't know if I've ever seen a, an encounter like that right here ever before. 
But it's also been a long time since I've seen any of these random encounters actually work in Red Dead Online anyway. So, um, you guys can actually earn up to 11 gold bars every single day. In my personal opinion, there's two requirements. The true main one is that you guys complete at least one daily challenge for at least 21 days in a row. Otherwise, the other, the other requirement, in my opinion, is to make sure that you guys have all of the current roles. So there's five total. And then be at least a rank 10 in each of those roles because that will give you access to 15 daily channel uh, challenges. Now, if you guys come down here and look at the daily the, the, the challenge goals, you only have to complete nine of the daily role challenges in order to get a bonus now. You can get up to one and a half gold bars in order to do that. Um, and then you can get up to half a gold bar for every daily challenge that you complete once you hit that 21 day streak or more. And then just maintain one. It doesn't matter which of the 22 that you do each and every single day in order to, to maintain that. But you can choose nine out of the 15, whatever nine you think is easiest. Those are the nine that you can do each and every single day. So I definitely recommend doing as many role challenges that you possibly can. All right, so let's go over, go ahead and break these down in details, uh, in detailed information for you guys. We got canned food eaten. All you have to do is pull up your wheel here, go over one, and then just eat any of your cans. So we got peaches, pineapples, beans. Um, I think that's pretty much all that I have on me. Apricots. That's pretty much it. So up uh, and strawberries. I think there was one other one too, but any of those would work just fine. And just eat any five of those. Uh, the next one on the list is to catch a channel catfish. Now, my recommendation is using the special swamp lure. Really? That was actually at really close to where the... Uh, was Goss getting attacked by cougars? Now, that would be hilarious. I don't know if that's actually what was happening or not. I, I have no idea. I mean, I mean, it looks like it was pretty close. Because this looks like it might be that rock right there. Have to do some investigating late, later. Um, so we got my go-to spot for channel catfish is actually going to be in Lagra here. Uh, so you can fast travel to this location and then channel catfish. You're going to if you guys use this, the swamp river lure, or swamp lures, the special swamp lure, you guys will catch. There's long nose gar in the area. Plus you can also get the channel catfish. And once you catch one, that's all you have to do. So it's pretty easy peasy. The next one on the list is going to be three cooked season flaky fish. Now, flaky fish is going to be um, a huge variety of them. Um, pretty much only ones you don't want to catch are going to be the bullhead catfish, as far as the smaller ones go, or the bluegills, because those will be gritty. But you can catch anything like the pickerels, so redfin or chain pickerel. You can catch rock bass, smallmouth bass will count. Um, any of those will be fine, or perch. And you can just break them down and then you cook them at any of the campfires. Either, either you have the Wilderness Outfitter Camp or Wilderness Camp, or you can do it at your camp camp, or you can do it at any campfire that you find around the world. There's almost one in every single city, or just right around it anyway. And then you do have to have some kind of seasoning, so thyme, oregano, or mint in order to cook that. Next one is going to be finish a mode in featured series so all you have to actually do is come down here and go into quick join and then uh featured series and then go ahead and finish that one and once you finish it you're going to get 0.16 gold bar for completing it and then 0.5 or up to 0.5 gold bar for completing that as well the next one on the list is going to be two iguana skin now i'm going to give you guys a couple different locations that you guys can go to if you guys want to do green iguanas you guys can actually do and catch them out here on these islands. Otherwise, if you want normal iguanas, pretty much anything west of Armadillo, you guys can pretty much find iguanas. The next one on the list is going to get be a one-player headshot with a boat in Showdown. Um, if you're really not big into Showdown, kind of like the featured series, then it might not really be for you. Um, and especially if you're not that great of a shot, then maybe it might not be for you. But just keep in mind that every Showdown that you participate in you can actually get 0.1 gold bar extra for completing that. The last one is going to be three weapons cleaned with gun oil. So just purchase gun oil from any of the general stores or your catalog and then clean your weapons. Um, unfortunately, you do have to clean it yourself. You can't like clean it inside of like a showdown or at a gunsmith. I'm moving on to the bounty hunter role, which is the only role that does pay out additional in gold, which is awesome. So we got two bounty targets taken out on the bolas. 
Um, you do have to be a certain rank in order to get these, and they are expensive. They're $30 a piece. You can only carry three at a time, but they are really fun to use. We got three eagle eye used to track a target. The best way to do this is if you guys get that random bounty hunt where you have to go and inspect areas. It's a big yellow area that you have to search for a bounty target in. Inspect each of those, and then use your eagle eye to track that target, and you'll get it done in one bounty hunting. The next one is going to be one hard or legendary bounty completed. If you guys want something quick and easy, do the hard. If you want something a little bit more exciting, then do the legendary bounty. Moving on to the trader role, we got 20 donations to crypts. I like to use feathers just because they're easy to donate or anything that you have an abundance of. We got two goods sold to a distant buyer. You just have to have two goods available out of the hundred that are possible. Then do your distant delivery. And that'll take anywhere between like 10 and 15 minutes to, to do that delivery. We got two resupply missions completed, so you will have to wait in between each of the resupply missions to actually do them. It's about a 20 to 30 minute waiting period between one. The next on the list is going to be the collector roll. We have three American wildflowers found, which the wildflowers are going to be a part of cycle number two. You have to drink an antique alcohol bottle, so if you guys pull up your satchel... And then head on over into your liquor bottles and just go ahead and drink whatever you have an abundance of. That's all you have to do in order to get that one completed. And then the next one on the list for the collector role is going to be three collectibles looted from non-player enemies. Uh, pretty much any of the random free roam events are going to be the best th places to get collectibles from. So this is going to be like bootlegger missions, gang hideouts, or um, the, now the, the poacher ones that are part of the naturalist role those ones are the best to participate in just make sure that you're looting as many possible people as possible so that you can get as much uh, opportunity to get a collectible that you can we have 200 dollars money made from moonshine sold and then 18 bottles intact if you guys sell a strong special moonshine you can make 247 dollars and 50 cents so that's if you maintain all 20 bottles if you break one bottle you make less than 200 dollars so then you don't have to repeat the process. So these two can literally be done together. The next one is going to be one moonshine bar change decor. You can either change the entire theme, which does cost gold. So if you've already purchased one, you can just change it back to the basic or change a painting or whatever you have and all what you've already spent money on is fine. So honestly, the moonshiner roll, super easy to complete today. And last but not least, we have the naturalist rolls. So we have don't kill any animal for 24 hours in the game hours. So we're about a fourth of the way there. We got three forest and river and three mountain. So let's go ahead and find out what all those are going to count as. So if we go over to the animal field guide here, and we can take a look at the mountain and grassland. Um, so these are pretty much everything that you guys can go after in order to get these uh, samples. And then the next one is going to be the forest and river area. And again, these are all the ones that you guys can participate in, get their samples from. Those two, the forest and river and the mountain and grassland are the easiest to, to get, in my opinion. Well, that is all the daily challenges done, gone over and covered. If you guys do have any questions regarding any of the daily challenges, by all means, go ahead and leave a comment down below so that I can do my best to help you guys out. I do plan on live streaming later Today, uh, the game is yet to be determined. I'll probably put a poll out here very, very soon asking what people would like to see played. So definitely participate in that if that's something that you guys would like to do. It's very interactive. You guys get to play most games with me that we that we play in. So it's a way that we can all just have a good time. But anyway, check it out. Hope to see you guys there. But if you guys did enjoy, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.